is good, all my dudes out there? It's your boy Roxel, and welcome to Love Love Joe Biden, the Joe Biden dating simulator. So yeah, this was another game that was gifted to me by Zach. So y'all know my rule. If a game is gifted to me, I play it. Sorry guys, no dubby wheel. I left my drink powder and my shaker cups at um, the storage. W.GG, check them out. They're fucking awesome. All right, let's get this going. What's your name? Uh, Rox. Dear Diary, today is the big day. I haven't even been in Delaware for a week and I'm already starting my new job as a caretaker at the elderly home. Oh my God. I really hope to make a positive impact on this place. I've heard bad reviews from some of the elderly there as well as their loved ones. At least those who have loved ones. My goal here is to provide the best care possible to our esteemed elderly citizens. Make sure that none of them spend their last days without a friend. Oh, both of those are great. I like this one though. When I was young, I was really close with my grandma. We would bake together and watch television together. Eventually though, she was too old, even for those activities. So I took care of her. I took care of my grandma every day and it was the most fulfilling way I could have spent my time. I gained a profound respect for America's elderly and after she passed away, I decided that becoming a caretaker for the elderly was the job for me. Oh, look at the time. I have to get moving before I'm late to work. Okay, let's go. Uh, hello? D Why, Zach, what the fuck have you got me playing, man? Okay, it's, it's fine. It is fine. It is fine. I'm sure that this will be a very wholesome game about dating an elderly man. I can't believe those words just exited my noise hole. Oh, you're the new caretaker. Listen, the only thing you need to know about this place is that it sucks. You might start here thinking you're gonna change things, but trust me, you won't. And take my advice when I tell you, stay out of my way and let me do things the way I like. I hate bosses like this. Wow. Gotcha. So what do we do here in the morning? Well, you miss breakfast, so there isn't really anything to do now. Go meet some of the old people or sit around until it's time for lunch. Doesn't matter to me. I'll add you to our work group chat so we can communicate. Okay. Here's the new person. All right, anyways, I handle the medication around here, so don't even worry about it. I guess now that you're here, you can give the sponge baths or something. Yuck. <laughs> he didn't even ask for my name. I only know his because of the group chat. Jeremy. Play games on your phone. Go to the common area to meet some of the residents. I'm gonna do this. I came here to work. Hello, Suzine. Uh, can I try and do an, a grandma voice? What does truffle sound? Well, hello there. Hey, I'm Rox. This is my first day, as you can probably tell. What's your name? I'm Suzine. It's a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you too, Suzine. Oh, you're so sweet. You're so much nicer than Jeremy. Well, it's not that hard to be nicer to, than Jeremy. Well, have you been in Delaware long? No, actually. I just moved here a few days ago. I really like it so far, though. Even just the few days I've been here, it's a breath of fresh air. How long have you lived here? Well, I was born and raised here. I met my husband as a teenager and we became high school sweethearts. Then he went off to the war. Once he got back from the war, we got married. Mm -hmm. Then we had a kid, but there were complications during childbirth and we lost her. Oh man. Oh no. It's okay though. She's in heaven now. We spent the rest of our days in the home my husband built. We got to be the best auntie and uncle to our nieces and nephews. But of course, time goes on. My husband passed away four springs ago, and I've been here ever since. But I'm happy. My nieces and nephews visit all the time, and I love living near all of my friends and playing bingo every Friday night. I'm glad to hear it's a good time here. I've been told not everyone liked it here. Oh, well, Jeremy doesn't make it easy. Growing old has its ups and downs, but it's really not so bad. Oh, it looks like someone wants to meet you. I ought to go or get going anyways. Don't let him bite now. He's the bad boy around here. Okay. Oh my. He's so kawaii. I've never seen a man of his age look so cute. He's so seductive even. I can't do his voice. Do you guys know the difference between Washington DC and the DC universe? Hey there, what's your name? 
Uh, this is still horrible. He reaches out his hand to shake mine and I comply. Oh, Mr. Biden, I'm Rox. It's so nice to meet you. I'm so nervous. I didn't realize he lived there. <laughs> well, it's nice to meet you too, Rox. And please, call me Joe. Of course, Joe. You must be new from around here. Say, where are you from? Me? Oh. I'm from the West Coast. Not far away, I'm from the East Coast. I'm from the South. I'm from way up North. I'm actually new to the United States. I'm from the Northeast. Which do I say, East Coast or do I say up North? You know what, East Coast. Well, that's just grand, man. I hope you aren't from New York City. There are huge rats there. <laughs> Fuck New York. I'm sick and tired. Of what, Joe? I'm just sick and tired. Say, you know what time it is? I think it's half past 10. No, man, it's time for ice cream. Oh. Come on now, let's go ask Jeremy for some ice cream. You see, I get what I want. I could get whatever you want too, you know? Oh my. <laughs> oh my god. This has gotta be the s this is up there for stupidest games I've played. Hey, Jeremy. What? I was wondering if my friend and I here could have some ice cream. Haven't you had enough ice cream today, old man? Beat it. Now you listen here, wise guy. You're damned mistaken if you think I'm- You're gonna tell me when I've had too much ice cream. <laughs> oh yeah? You're not the one with access to the freezer, are you? I didn't think so. This won't be the end of this. What a fool. That wasn't very nice. He's my friend. I don't know if I want to say this one, but you know what? Fuck authority. Whatever. He seems to like you, you know. I bet he could be your sugar daddy. He's probably rich. All you have to do is pretend to like him and you'll be set. I've never seen him look at anyone like that before. All right, well, we better get ready to serve lunch. I'll see you in the kitchen. All right, whatever, Jeremy. Fucking dick. Oh, that's it. That's the end of day one. Dear diary, today was my first day working at the elderly home. I met Joe Biden. He sure was charming. My coworker, Jeremy, was a real asshole. I'd really consider a relationship with Joe if I had the chance of not saying that. I think it would be in violation of my terms of employment if I were to have an intimate relationship with a resident. So I hope I can resist the urge to fall for Joe. I really hate both of these. Alexa, how old is Joe Biden? Joe Biden is 80. He was born on November 20th, 1942 in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Jesus Christ, 80. So that means that literally he was 58, maybe 57 when I was born. I'm gonna be uncomfortable this entire fucking time. I agreed if someone gifts me a game, I play it. That is what my that is what my promise was and I'm gonna keep it. I hate both of these, that's the answer. Suzine was very nice. I hope to see more of her. Well, I've gotta to go to bed now if I wanna to get to work on time tomorrow. Got you, bro. Day two, guess I'm here before Jeremy. What's up? You're the new caretaker, huh? Yeah, I'm Rox. Hi Rox, I'm Allie. I hope Jeremy wasn't too rough with you. T don't say it like that. <laughs> Nothing I can. <laughs> that big strong wolf wasn't rough enough. All right. Well, I'm glad you're settling in okay. It's about time to get ready for Mr. Biden to get his morning bath. He told me he wanted you to do it this time. Oh, no. Oh, no. Strange, because he usually likes me to do it. Mr. Biden? He told me to call him Joe. He told you to call him Joe? He's never told me I could call him that. He must see something special in you. Anyways, head over to room 108. That's Mr. Biden's room. See you around, Allie. See ya. She seems cute. And nice. Joe? This isn't me censoring. This is the raw footage of the game. <laughs> we now know what's under the suit. It's a shadow demon. <laughs> Good morning. Oh my. Good morning, Joe. I seem to have forgotten my pants. Yeah, and just about everything else. Well, it is bath time. <laughs> Well, you know what I always say, back when I was always told that the biggest thing was how super sharp you has been, I tell you that you know how it will be when your pants go missing. This is satire? Do I need to- do I need to acknowledge the fact that this entire video and this entire game is satire, or is that something that y'all know? Uh-huh. I have no idea what he's saying, but he's so sure. Fuck. 
You know, when back in my day when you took a bath, you wanted to save water, so when one person was done, you'd get in the bath after whoever used it last. Of course, by then it was cold. By then the water was cold. That's no good. So one day when I was a kid, I said, I say, I don't want cold water. I want hot water. So my brother says to me, he says, let's just take a bath together and share the hot water. Boy, those were some good times. You know, I'm not saying that line. In fact, I've often said that I'm not saying this line. Mm-hmm. You want to see something? Boy, you should see how my leg hair floats in the water. Okay, Joe, bath time. Well, all clean. Thanks. D did you see how my leg hair floated? I guess I did. Come on, man. It sounds like you aren't impressed. Let's go get breakfast. All right, Joe. <laughs> I'm way too sober for this. Well, breakfast sure was good. I really wish I could have dessert. Hmm. Jeremy isn't here today. I can get you ice cream. Well, you remember what Jerry Jeremy said about dessert. <laughs> Fuck Jeremy. I can get you ice cream. You can? Ice cream. Let me go get the ice cream. Boy, that sure was good ice cream. Say, do you like ice cream? Uh, yeah, I do. Me too. You know, we ought to be able to eat ice cream like that more often. The problem is that bully Jeremy reminds me of corn pop. Corn pop? I mean, I hate bullies, yes, but like, I don't want him to ramble on. Yeah, I hate bullies. Say, have you ever had a bully? I have, actually. One time I had one actually threatened my family, but the crazy part was... The bully was actually the brother of one of my... Joe? Are you sleeping? Uh-huh. I was just resting my eyes. No, where was I about corn pop? Uh, Rox, I need your help in room 105. Oh, got you. All right, Allie. On my way. Later that day. I don't see why it's so difficult, Joe. Come on, Allie. You know I'm trying my breast. I mean my... Joe, my eyes are up here. Sorry, pal. My eyesight isn't what it used to be. Uh-huh. Am I interrupting something? Oh, I was trying to get Joe to use the stairs. Trying to get him to use the stairs. He talks all the time about how he used to go on walks at the White House, but refuses to exit the elderly home. Because he won't use the stairs. The little stairs to the front doors. I haven't had the best experience with stairs or bicycles. Oh, Joe. End of day two. How many days are there? I'm assuming five, knowing most of these games. Dear Diary, today was my second day. Today was a good day, especially because Jeremy wasn't there to try and boss us around. Joe seems to like me a lot. I found him quite charming. I'm very eager to see what tomorrow brings next. Day three. Am I the only one here right now? I need help in the commons. Just got here. Hurry. Come on, man, you're gonna listen to that guy? No more ice cream? You know it's not up to me, Joe. My job is to make sure everyone is healthy. It's Jeremy that is in charge of stuff like that. I've got this from here, Allie. So what's the problem, Joe? Why, you lying, no good, two-faced coward? Someone ought to teach you a lesson, man. Listen, it's just ice cream. Just ice cream? Rock, say something, man. Jeremy, why can't he have ice cream? Listen. I have one job here, and it's not to go out of my way to buy ice cream for this guy. What is your job, then? What is my job if not to buy you ice cream? Are you stupid? I handle your medication every day. I make sure Allie is tracking your health condition. I make sure I'll do it. I'll buy his ice cream. Fine. I guess it's not my problem anymore. Oh, shit. I clicked out of the game. All right. I'm struggling. Why, you are just the greatest. Thanks, Rox. Anything for- No. Sure thing. Well, pal, it's that time again. Ice cream? No, nap time. Good morning, dearie. Good morning, Suzine. How'd you sleep? I slept well, and had the most wonderful dream. Oh? Yes, it was about my aunt's farm. I don't think you've told me about your aunt's farm. Well, I ought to tell you. When I was a little girl, I spent my summers on my aunt and uncle's farm. My sister's mother, you see. We'd pick blackberries and make the most delightful blackberry jam. I would love to try that. I swear, there is nothing better than homemade jam from someone's grandma. Any blackberries that didn't get turned into jam, we'd make into a pie. That sounds like it was a great time. 
I'm genuinely interested in what Suzine has to say. Like, you can tell that she's actually, like, such a genuinely kind person, and I really like that. One day, I put Strichnine in one of the pies and gave it to my neighbor. Strichnine? I feel like I should know what this is, considering I was once a chemistry nerd, but I don't know. Ah, an odorless, very potent po I spoke way too fucking soon. That bastard didn't know what hit him. What did he do? He did something very bad. Anyway, don't cross me. <laughs> Crossing the wrong person is bad around here anyhow. You never know how, you never know who is good with the boss. Uh, the boss? I f well, now that was a twist in the half, but like, I'm more interested now. The boss, the one who put Joe in here. Trump. I really shouldn't be talking about him. You've been very sweet, and I think I can trust you. But I've said a bit too much. Sounds very secretive. Oh yes, hush now. Well, you look radiant this morning. I hope you have a great rest of your morning, dearie. Oh, there's Allie. How's it going, Rox? Okay. Everything all right with you and Joe? He just... He looks upset when he walks away after talking with you. Maybe you should head home early. Jeremy and I have things covered. I don't... Okay. I guess that's the end of my shift. No extra money for me, I guess. Today was my third day. There seems to be some sort of boss. Very strange. There may be more to this place than it seemed. Day four. Good morning, sweetheart. How are you? I'm okay. Don't look so troubled. It's Trivia Tuesday. Oh, tonight? Early bird gets the worm, kiddo. It starts in the commons in a few moments. Joe is hosting today. You call him Joe too? Why, yes. When I first got here, my grandkids came here to wish me a happy birthday. As we all gathered around, I could see Joe gazing intensely at my niece. Oh, fuck, I hate the fact that I am saying these things out loud. At first, I thought it was because he took a liking for her. Pretty soon, he got up and walked on over to us. Joe looked at my niece and asked, Is that chocolate chocolate chip ice cream? Every birthday since, my family brings chocolate chocolate chip. And every birthday, we let Joe have some. I think he's fine with me calling him Joe. Wow. Oh, trivia starting. Let's head to the commons. I wonder if this is going to be actual trivia and I can actually see if I can get any of this. You're just a bully, Jeremy. You really think you can beat me? I win trivia every time. Rox, I bet you're good at trivia. Yeah, I got ADHD. If you beat Jeremy in trivia, I say Jeremy owes you 10 gallons of ice cream and access to the freezer. I'd get in trouble with the boss if I let Joe have that much ice cream. Pop should be the least of your worries. And if Rox loses, if they lose, Joe never gets ice cream again. Well, now I really gotta do it. Deal. Okay, Rox, you got this. Wait, how do I win? Just get more questions right than Jeremy. Okay, should be easy enough. Welcome everyone! I hope you all had a good morning. I came down here because someone told me they had ice cream. Otherwise, I would have stayed in the Oval Office. I mean my bedroom. Boy, I do miss having ice cream whenever I wanted. This first trivia question is for Jeremy. When did the world of 1812 start? 1812. Uh, I think he's right. <laughs> the next question is for Rox. What's my favorite flavor ice cream? Chocolate chocolate chip. <clears throat> Correct. Next question. Jeremy, who was the first black president? Barack Obama. Je who? Correct. Oh God, he's stupid. This is rigged. Next question, Rux. What is the capital of Delaware? Dover. You must be cheating or something, guy. That's correct. The last question for Jeremy. Who was the first president? President Woofington. I mean, no, man. That's not fair. You didn't specify the country. Last question, Rox. Am I a cat person or a dog person? I feel like he would hate- I'm going with cat because he doesn't seem to like him. Cat person. That's incorrect. This isn't fair. You didn't specify that question you gave me. I'm leaving. What about the bet? To hell with the bet. What a poor sport. Rox, you're a smart cookie, you know that, kid? Joe, I wanted to clear something up. I care about you a lot. In fact, uh, I'll say it. In fact, I'm- very attracted to you as well. Wait, Joe, you know that Rox is just using you, right? No. I was there. We talked about it. They just want a sugar daddy. 
I do not. They're trying to use you for your money, Joe. You didn't seriously think you could have feelings for you. They could have feelings for you, did you? Is that true, Rox? No, I didn't even- I've heard enough from you, man. I don't want to talk to you ever again, you damn two-faced pony soldier. What? Not so fast. I'm not letting you get to Joe's room. Get out of my way, asshole. Allie was right, you're a bully, Jeremy. He already knows this and he doesn't care. I don't think so. You think you're tough, huh? You dumbass furry? Not a furry, I'm from Woodville. You're quite literally an anthropomorphic wolf. I am pop, what the fuck? I'm other kin. You're a furry. Why are you looking at me like that? I just do what the boss tells me. Who is this boss? Why were you blushing? He's a bad dude and runs a bunch of bad boys. Corn Pop is the boss. Keep your voice down. But why? Why follow a bully like that around, Jeremy? He pays the bills. Besides, the boss's goal is to keep Joe pent up in here, alone, where he belongs. Joe only made this country worse. Why should he deserve anything more than to spend his last days alone, without ice cream, without love? But why punish him? Even if he was as bad as you say, he's retired now. I'm sure if he could go back and make things better, he would. can a man enjoy his last days with the basic things that make life sweet? Like ice cream? Like love? You don't want to follow a guy like Corn Pop around, do you? Your own bitterness is eating at you, Jeremy. And you're a bully. I guess you have a point. I never wanted to be a bully. I've been so focused on righting wrongs by punishing others, I guess I forgot to look in the mirror. Go get your man, Rox. I'll get out of your way. Joe. What do you want? Jeremy was lying. I never said that I just wanted a sugar daddy. Why should I believe you, man? Because ever since I first laid eyes on you, I knew you were the one for me. I can't believe I am saying this shit. <laughs> uh, I agreed to do it and I am going to stick to the script. Because giving you baths, feeding you ice cream, and listening to your old stories this week has made it the best week of my life. Because I don't know what I'd do without you, Joe. I've been afraid of my feelings. I've been afraid of the love that I have for you. It's just, you're so much older and I could get my heart broken. Anyways, but, but here I am, Joe. I'm, I'm yours if you'll have me. I don't know what to say. I think... <laughs> I'm trying so hard to keep it together, it's so difficult. I think you're quite a snack, Rox, but I couldn't be your boyfriend. But you're just too old for- I'm, I'm too old for you, but I'm not even one third your age. I'm closer to a quarter of your age. I wish you the best of luck, pal. You're a good looker, you know, but before you go, let me get one last <laughs> Let me get one last whiff of your hair. Heartbreak. Love, love Joe Biden, the Joe Biden dating simulator. To be continued. There's another part. There are multiple fucking endings. I am not going to be getting those endings. If you want to see them, you are going to have to play this game yourself because I have already done way too much of this for my liking and I want to stop. So we are going to end this video. Zach, thank you for gifting me this game, but at the same time, I'm starting to get a little bit more worried about you like every single time I talk to you. Well, yeah, that was um, an interesting experience to say the least. Uh, yeah, so if you have any games that you want me to play, leave them in the comments, they're always open. Reminder, when we hit 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, the public Discord server will be opened and we will have Raver cosplaying as an anime schoolgirl. So let's get to that thousand. We only need something like 240 more. Let's make this happen by the end of the summer. Thank y'all so much for watching. If you liked this video, smash that like button. Subscribe to join the Legion, and I will see y'all in the next video.